welcome to another video. Uh, this problem, uh, which I extracted from 1961 Olympiad math, uh, let's see how to solve this. So the first thing I'm going to do here is, so we have a to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals to 14. And if you write 8 in index form, so it's 2 to the power of x uh, plus so 2 to the power of 2, this is to the power of uh, x. Uh, why the last one is 2 to the power of x equals to 14. And uh, we have a rule of indices which uh, can interchange the power of this. So suppose we have a raised to the power b raised to the power 6. And this equals to a raised to the power of c and all raised to the power of b. And by applying it in this, so x we replace the position of 3 and we have 2 to the power of x always to the power of 3. So the same thing with the second one uh, plus 2 to the power of x always to the power of 2. Why the last one? So it's 2 to the power of x and all this equals to 14. Then uh, let's uh, set 2 to the power of x to be any alphabet. Suppose I choose letter y. Uh, anywhere we have 2 to the power of x, so we are replacing it with y. And hereby we have y raised to the power 3 plus y to the power of 2 plus y. And this 14, if I take it down here, it becomes negative 14 and I remain this side to be 0. Then, uh, here is a cubic equations, uh, which myself, I don't know any formula for these cubic equations, so unlike the quadratic equation, so which you have the quadratic formula. But here is what I'm going to use. So let's start with this 13. So we have this as minus 8 and uh, minus 6. And I start to replace 14 with uh, these two values. Then we have y k plus y squared plus y. So minus 8 minus 6 equal to 0. Then, uh, if I combine these two together, so we are going to have y to the power of 3 minus 8. So I bracket this, and uh, y for the other 3 uh, plus y goes to the power 2 plus y minus 6, everything equal to 0. So, and uh, this y keep minus 8 keeps, so I want to deal with it first. So since the second one is factorizable, so then we have y goes to the power 3 minus 2 to the power of 3, and 2 to the power of 3 is still 8. So uh, by staring this, uh, let's consider from this uh, a goes to the power 3 minus b goes to the power 3, which is the difference of 2 keep. And the identity for this is a minus b bracket a goes to the power 2 plus a b plus b raised to the power of 2. Then, so where our a here is y and the b is 2. So anyway, we see all this, we are going to replace it. Here we have equals to y minus 2, bracket, open bracket. So y raised to the power 2 plus, so we have uh, 2y and plus 4. Then by replacing it in the above, instead of y raised to the power 3 minus 8, so we replace it with this which is y minus 2, we bracket it, bracket y raised to the power of 2 plus 2y plus 4, all in bracket, and plus, for this we have y raised to the power 2 plus y minus 6 equal to 0. But, uh, me looking at this, so there's nothing common to both, um, but since I've said earlier that, uh, this uh, y raised to the power 2 plus y minus 6 is, is factorizable. So, thereby, if I factorize this y raised to the power 2 plus y minus 6, so the result is going to be for uh, by doing it. So, using factorization method, we are going to have, uh, let's say, the first a is y minus 2, and here is y raised to the power of 2 plus 2y plus 4. And by factorizing this, we have it as y minus 2 and the y minus 
uh, y plus 3 and you can try to pause this and uh, expand this too so by expanding this we are going to get y squared plus y minus 6 so since both of them are taking y minus 2 it is now easy to factorize y minus 2 and put the rest in a larger bracket here we have y squared plus 2y plus 4 then plus y plus 3 and close the bracket equal to 0 so we have y minus 2 equal to 0 uh, which is for the first one or let's say let's add this together first so y squared uh, we have 2y plus y that is 3y and 7 plus uh, 7 uh, 4 plus 3 that is 7 equals to 0 so then we can now let uh, since we have two different things in a different bracket we are going to deal with this first so suppose this one is uh, it follows this ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 where the value of a here is the constant of y squared which is 1 and uh, b here is 3 while c is a constant value which is 7 and let's follow from this discriminant which is b square minus 4ac and suppose we are substitute this b is going to be 9 minus 4 then a is 1 and c is 7 so discriminant here equals to we have uh, 9 minus 28 and 9 minus 28 equals to minus 19. I know we have three cases of discriminant, so it can be negative, positive, or zero. So when it is negative, so that is, we got an imaginary, uh, which is the complex root. So which means for this, I don't need it. So since it uh, will not satisfy the equations, and let's deal with y minus 2, um, uh, where we have y equals to 2, so by transferring it to the other side. So since y equals to 2, then we now consider from where we test that 2 raised to the power x equals to y. And if 2 raised to the power x equals to uh, 2, uh, or let's say y, and the value of y here equals to 2, then we have 2 raised to the power x equals to 2. And this 2 is just like 2 raised to the power 1. So by canceling this, we are going to have our x equals to 1. Um, thereby, so I concluded that the value of x here equals to 1 satisfy this but let's check uh, the question is 8 raised to the power x plus 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals to 14 and at x equals to 1 by putting it so even without substituting we must have uh get it right now that the value of x equals to 1 satisfied this particular equation and this is how i think this problem should be solved if you have another way of doing this you can drop it in the comment box and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. I will see you in the next class. Never stop learning.